Hello everybody. Um, here is my Candle Day 2022 haul. It's been quite some time since I've made a video. I think the last video I made, I can't remember, was it SAS last year or Candle Day last year or just a candle collection in general? It's been a very long time, probably about a year. So I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. Um, I'm gonna give a quick rundown of each candle. So take a watch if you're interested in anything that I got from this haul for candle day. All right, so starting at the bottom, we have Leather and Brandy. This one is not something I would normally gravitate towards. It has a very cologne-like scent, very different. I'm not into the mahogany teakwas. I'm not into any of those cologne-like scents, um, but different so i picked it up it seems like it would be very strong i found this one on the first day of candle day i didn't get it when it came out during the sas and when i picked it up i actually enjoyed it it's pineapple mango and fresh balsam it kind of reminds me of like a mango mojito that like mintiness you get and that's definitely coming from the balsam so that would be interesting from the Into the Vault or whatever, that vault collection, we have Wine Cellar. Not a fan of it, but I did miss out on getting it last time it was around. Um, I don't know, I'm still debating on exchanging it, but um, I don't know, I might. Th this might go back to the store. Not 100% sure. So over here we have Peppermint Sugar Cookie. Love it, loved it when it first came out, so I definitely needed another one. Okay, so the Merry Mashup collection, I was very excited for this. Um, I did get the whole collection. Um, I thought it was interesting. I really am liking what they're doing where they're mixing scents. Um, do I think it's because they have begun to come up, like run out of ideas? I think so. You know, Bath & Body Works has been around for a very long time hundreds of cents um and i think this is something smart that they're doing and they're still giving it something technically new um and it's been good all right so we have cinnamon stick and waikiki beach coconut apparently this is a repackage of that i think it's like hello spice or true spice something like that it was like a white jar with um orange lettering i don't like cinnamon stick however i love waikiki beach coconut I never get it just because there's always so many other summer scents that come out and I have already had that one. Um, when you, I haven't burned it yet, but I am not getting like a huge cinnamon. No, I'm just getting like a little bit of it, which seems good. Next, we have cinnamon, spice, vanilla, and hot cocoa and cream. I burned it and then when I burned it, I went back to the store to get another one. Excellent throw. Um, I thought that the chocolate would like overpower the cinnamon and the vanilla. However, it's right down the middle for me personally. I do think you get a very good um, combination of the two. Let's see the notes. Sorry, I'm putting the notes. Decadent milk chocolate, ground cinnamon, vanilla bean. It is good. I will be finishing it and glad I have a second one. Um, I will say they did have this like everywhere I went. It wasn't until today, the second day, like when I went to go find um, some of that other new collection that I started to see it was gone. The only thing they had left was that sugar lemonade, blueberry sugar, lit this, love it also. Um, I will say though, when I smelled it, here are the notes. Okay, it reminded me of something and it wasn't those two scents. They do smell like that, however, I couldn't think of it and then I remembered it reminded me of this pomegranate lemonade and it's got to be that lemonade note but they do smell similar if anybody has that one um, you know they're different you can tell they're different however uh, you know I feel like it's very close very close um, to that scent you do get that blueberry come out once you light it. When you smell it right away, I personally smell sugared lemonade on cold, but once you start burning it, you do start to get that blueberry note to it. Another good candle, Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit Tiki Beach on cold smells only like Tiki Beach in my opinion. In my opinion. Haven't lit it yet. Um, interested to see what happens. Here are the notes. <clears throat> Okay, and then we have Ocean Driftwood and White Gardenia. My boyfriend seems to like this. Again, I'm not big like on the mahogany teak woods and all those. Um, it does smell like White Gardenia. I'm also not a big floral person, um, but 
he says that he loves how it smells on cold so i'm sure it's a good combination of the two here are the notes okay so that's the mary mashup collection pretty happy with it um so let's move on all right moving on we have old-fashioned cider donut love this candle got it last year fell in love with it so now i have one for next year just because you never know if it comes out again i really hope since we saw it this year it come out again next year but you never know so i have this just in case it doesn't all right then we have salted caramel pretzel i found this today today's the second day of candle day i found it this morning um there was only one i didn't get it when it come out when it came out um so i was really happy to see it it reminds me of literally the salted pretzels from those flips like when you when you're eating them and like you're smelling it that's what it reminds me of um I was wondering, I didn't read or I didn't read any reviews on it, but I was wondering if it was a repackage of this or if they were the same. Salted pretzel milkshake um, was okay. This one, a hundred percent, already smells better on cold than this one. This one has more of like that saltiness. Um, I think it's the chocolate, the chocolate note in here that's throwing it off. Over here, the caramel, it's not it doesn't smell artificial so i think that's what's making it better for me personally then we have tipsy elf um this was the same label as what was it butter rum eggnog something like that um they're different though i don't have that candle but um apparently they're different here's the wax i don't know how i feel about this one i have to see how it burns um I couldn't remember when I was smelling it if it reminded me of this one that came out two years ago, Salted Caramel Eggnog, or was this last year? This was two years ago. Um, they're different though, so we'll see how it is. The next collection we have over here, um, I was very fortunate enough to find Sweet Whiskey and Cranberry Orange Seltzer. There were very few, and this was right at five in the morning. There were probably three of each, so I just picked one up. Um, I do have another sweet whiskey. I absolutely love it. Very strong. Here are the notes. Um, I'm sorry, I wasn't putting the notes in before. I'm just trying to make this as quick as possible. Um, extremely strong, very fast burner, thick wick, so it's gonna go down quicker than the other candles. Juniper and gin reminded me of Frosted Moscow Mule right away. Um, very different, but it's that, it's like that gin in it, right? Um, strong let it today for the first time again started to go down quickly and smelled it in my entire kitchen and dining room so that has an excellent throw then we have cranberry orange seltzer reminds me just like an orange soda when i was smelling it i wondered why i loved it so much and it's because it instantly reminded me of right here fresh orange i know a lot of people didn't really like fresh orange um very different candles but it's just like that orange underneath it that it's reminding me of and i particularly did like fresh orange so i'm sure i'm gonna love this one when i burn all right moving on to the last collection um the most challenging collection to get might i add um, i'm sure if you're seeing this around social media this was this was something that had you store hopping um but before i get there can't remember if I mentioned this. I also grabbed Mary Mimosa. Love Mary Mimosa. Not sure if I'm going to keep it. I did get a lot of candles and I really try to get just candles that I don't have um, and a double of candles that I love. Um, I really try to stick to the new candles just because, you know, I've been collecting for a few years already and they do start to add up. I do use them all, but I don't know. I do have another one of these in that pretty packaging remember with the the roaring 20s it was like that felt cover had like a champagne in the front so i might return this i'm not sure yet or give it as a gift okay here we go so first and foremost um the first day of candle day um the store that i went to there was like nobody and everyone working was just so nice so um i was having a conversation with one of the sales associates and she did tell me that they had them and she was willing to grab them for me for the back. Um, she was only able to get one of each. So she got me a fresh coconut cotton, one pistachio toasted vanilla, and I did ask her for the ginger lime twist. Um, I didn't ask her for this one because I wasn't too crazy about it, but um, I was just so grateful she was able to do that. And 
so happy because I absolutely love them. So let me talk about each of them. Right. So Pink Rose and Leather, they're really doing something with this whole leather. See, like leather is becoming a thing, I guess. Um, I'm not a floral person. I don't have anything really with rose in it. So I told myself to get it because I don't really have anything like that in my collection. So here are the notes. We have leather, blooming rose petals, comfort and patchouli. I think that's what made me actually end up getting it. I did like that scent. Um, you do smell everything, I will say. You have a nice combination of everything. I don't know how this burns. I haven't burned it yet. I'm probably not going to for a little bit um, just because I want to get through everything else, okay? Um, today and the second day when I went back to that store because I called and they had all of these out and they were flying off the shelves, the same person that grabbed them for me was so kind enough to get this for me from the back um, because she rung me up and she recognized me and asked I loved these, which I did. So she said she would get them for me. All right, next. Fresh coconut cotton. I don't have this as a single wick. Apparently this is um, a body care. It smells very clean. It smells very summery. You get a nice combination of both that coconut and that fresh scent. Um, I picked up another one when I went today. It just smells amazing. I can't wait to use it. Let me show you the notes. Coconut, Coastal Breeze, Beachside Cotton. <clears throat> the next one we have is Pistachio and Toasted Vanilla. I'm actually burning this one right now in the living room and I really do like it. Now, instantly people were saying if it was the same as Pistachio Ice Cream, they're not. I'm gonna put the notes next to each other so you can see. We have salted pistachios, toasted vanilla almonds. And for pistachio ice cream, oh, look how that looks. Where are the notes? We don't have the notes under here. I must be missing it. Maybe it says it on the front. All I know is pistachio ice cream definitely smells much sweeter like the ice cream and pistachio toasted vanilla definitely has that warmer, slightly salty undertone. It's definitely more of like a winter candle where this is definitely more of a summer candle. Um, about 15 minutes into burning, I did start to smell it in my living room. I haven't burnt it long enough to see how well the throw is, but um, I am glad that I was able to get another one. Grateful for that. This does smell great. Um, <clears throat> so we'll see what happens if this is going to come online. Um, the stores that are putting them out now, I don't think we'll see them for SAS because they were literally flying off the shelves. There weren't very many left. Okay, then we have Ginger Lime Twist, which I am also burning now to see how it burns. I really do like it and I know why I like it. It reminded me of two candles. It reminded me right here of Frosted Moscow Mule, and it also reminded me of that one that I just got, Juniper and Gin, kind of like a mix in between. Frosted Moscow Mule is more sweeter, and Juniper and Gin is definitely more on the Juniper side, um, but they're both similar, so I knew I loved those two candles, so I would love this one. It is pulling up nicely we are starting to see those wicks start to get those um, like mushrooms on it but not as bad it is burning good um, I do smell it within my entire dining room right now so I do foresee it having a pretty good throw. all right everybody that's it for candle day um, I did want to mention that um you know basically my experience lines were not long i was anticipating long lines at five and i was like floored to walk in and the stores were pretty empty i was shocked um what i will say though is it was a challenge to get this collection right here um i almost did it you know thankfully the person did get it for me from the back early on on my second store on the first day 
And then when I started, you know, smelling it when I came home, I was like, wow, I really would like another one. So on the second day, just trying to find it, I think I went to, I ended up going to three stores and I went to two early in the morning around eight and then again later around two or three and I couldn't. So, you know, it was, it just so happened to be that I called the first store that I went to yesterday where I got it from. They did tell me they were on the shelf, so I headed right back. But um, kind of, you know, annoying the fact that they're doing this whole wave thing. You know, I understand that from like their business perspective, they have to get rid of candles and they did have to hold them. However, there is that inconsistency knowing that many other stores did have them, but the ones that you're at didn't get them. And um. You know, just the fact that it was annoying having to go back throughout the day, checking, there's lots of running around. Could I have waited for them to go online? Yes, um, but you know, we don't know what that pricing is gonna be, 13 something, or is it only gonna be the $10 off? We're now looking at almost $17 a candle, which is quite ridiculous. Um, so, you know, I was glad to find them. I was also on the hunt for that blueberry marshmallow bar nowhere had it well that's what they're saying so that one i will just wait until i see it online i'm sure it's going to pop up online and then um maybe i'll see it around for sas but i am done i am so over driving everywhere looking for candles and i'm happy with my haul and this one was definitely number one and so was this one so i'm really glad i was able to find them um, sweet whiskey was also high up there on my list. I really do enjoy that one. Um, the Merry Mashup collection, they really did have a lot. Even today and the second day, like midday, I did see them everywhere towards the end when I was able to get this collection. Um, the store I was at did not have any of them, so that entire collection was gone. So um, let me know how your candle day experience was. Um, did you go out? Did you do online shopping? Were you store hunting, looking for these candles, driving yourself crazy? Um, you know, hopefully everyone stayed in budget. I went slightly over, but again, you know, I wasn't anticipating to love these and actually get doubles. I was just anticipating getting one of each. So, you know, candle days once a year, I do look forward to it. And you know, there's kind of that joy you get when <laughs> candle day comes and you get to find the new ones that you want and actually enjoy them. So like, leave me a comment, let me know how your experience was.